All right, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon and I'm down in the studio and I'm getting ready to put together my uh, horse armatures together as far as their design goes. And uh, I gotta go get the uh, snow off the uh, saw out back so that I can saw out the wood that's gonna be the uh, that I the wood that I'm gonna be mounting the uh, clays or the uh, armatures on the uh, that uh, clay that I bought a while back that hardens hard as a rock uh, like this piece here I'm gonna use that I think on the uh, armature for the first time I want to see if maybe I can get the clay or the uh, armature to support the clay using a base of that kind of clay and I can't remember what the name of the clay was now but I've got the clay sitting here in the bag it's going to be uh, hard to work with because it is cold in the studio and I just turned the heat on to uh, warm up the studio a bit so I'll be back in a few minutes and uh, we'll get started on this hopefully today Time to play with some clay. The first thing I gotta do is find a piece of wood big enough to uh, hold the uh, two armatures. Let's see, where did I do those armatures, by the way? Ah, there they are. Here's one of the armatures. And uh, the horse action that I'm reproducing. I hope I got it here. The uh, horse... Uh, action I'm going to be reproducing is this one here. I'll post a picture of it uh, a little more clear on the video itself. But uh, I like the action and uh, I've just got to work out how the two horses are going to be mounted and how I can pull them apart and work on each horse separately. And that's what I have to wor uh, work out so, first things first, I need to get a piece, piece of wood that I can mount one of the horses on. Okay, I'm going to get a drill bit that's the size of the uh, horse's or the uh, armature wire so I can drill a hole and uh, mount the armature. That looks about right. to figure out how deep I'm going to have this uh, or how close to the base I'm going to have this. I'm probably going to go about there which means I've got to take off quite a bit. I'll be back after I get this worked out. Alright, I got the uh, first horse mounted somewhat now be mindful I don't know if this is going to work at all so 
that's the way most of my pieces turn out to be. I don't know what's going to work out and not work out. But this hook is going to be off the ground, but I'm going to leave that wire going down to the ground as a support for the uh, the hook and uh, support for the clay. I got to figure out how I'm going to support the clay itself and. Uh, I gotta get the other armature up here. Let's see where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Now I just gotta work out the pose on this one, and uh, the horse is gonna be coming in from the side. I can probably put my armature up here like this. I gotta have support for the hook of the clay. If I don't, it's gonna just fall over because all this is is aluminum. All right, I'll be back when I get this guy positioned, hopefully. All right, I got a friend coming over with uh, another friend, and so I'm gonna have to probably cut this short here in a few minutes. But I gotta get this uh, horse lined up the way it's in the uh, picture and I'm going to have to put let's see his leg down a little bit and down like that This hook is going to be off the ground, and I've got to anchor that. If you think this is easy, <laughs> all right. It sounds like they're here, so I'll have to cut the video here, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got the. Uh, two armatures made and uh, I've just got to get the uh, horses lined up with each other This horse is going to be a little higher, yeah, because that leg goes right in the crook of the uh, front leg of that horse, and I've got to reposition his head like that, and reposition this head like that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to get today. I'll pick this up tomorrow. I've got friends here and they're bothering the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, that's going to be it for today and I'll pick this up tomorrow. It's, uh, it's working out. It's just a matter of engineering everything and making sure everything works. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and anchor this I think I'm going to anchor that down right now so that uh, I won't be having it fall over during the night. And that way I can figure out what I'm going to do with the uh, head. Let's see. 
body. Yeah. That's going to be an interesting pose, don't you think, Paul? Yes. Now the head is down like that because he's going for the jugular. And uh, I've got to figure out how I'm going to support the horses. I got this uh, wooden dowel that I'm going to put up into the horse here. And uh, I'll do the same thing over here. I'm trying to keep everything compact because I've got to be able to take them apart and work on the horses separately. I still have them supported. I think that's going pretty good. I think so. I mean, it looks good from every angle, quite honestly, oh, yeah, doesn't it? it does. And that's the hardest part is getting the composition to work from every angle because yeah. uh, that's that's the the uh, trick of making a cla classic piece. Three dimensional. Mm -hmm. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.